Hey everybody, it's me, the guy in the mirror. Hello, how are you? Uh, today we're gonna be talking about how I clean up my tattoo station. This is after every single client. Obviously you wanna be wearing gloves because everything has blood all over it and there's guts dripping off of the ceiling. But I'm basically gonna be telling you uh, all the different products that I use and why. Uh, this first one that I use is called Scum Safe. It's a solidifier. You pour it into your liquid. So I'm going to be pouring it into my inks. You can pour it into your rinse cup um, or any other liquid that you may have that you want to throw in your trash can. It turns the liquid into a gel. So then that way you don't have a, uh, a lake of biohazard at the bottom of your trash bag because, you know, that would be gross if that went all over your floor. So what I'm doing now is just I'm going to be ripping all of the barriers off of all of my equipment. The goal is to touch nothing that is underneath the barrier, or at least as little as possible. Because theoretically, if the barriers did their job right, everything that's underneath it is completely clean. Um, so yeah, you want to do that the best that you can. You can see how I'm just sliding the bag off without touching my green soap bottle. Uh, this next part, I'm going to be throwing away my needles in the sharps container. It's really important to put your needles or cartridges in a sharps container. Even if you are using cartridges, uh, you can still poke the garbage man and that would be no fun for anyone. Uh, this is a disposable grips. I like using disposable grips because they just know they're clean every time. And you can see that I'm just basically shimmying my machine out of that bag. So in that way, uh, I know that it's already, you know, theoretically clean. Now, after I have, you know, touched all the dirty stuff, I change gloves. You don't want to be using your dirty gloves on things that are supposed to be clean. So you put on clean gloves uh, to start to work with the disinfectants. You can see all my barriers are off and my station is ready to be uh, all wiped down. Now I use two different uh, disinfectants. Uh, this first one is Opticide Max. I use that on my machines only. Um, and then the second one is Optum One. I use that on everything else. Now the reason I picked these two cleaners is because of their fast kill times. Um, some of these medical disinfectants that tattoo artists use, they have like a five minute long kill time which means that you have to keep that surface that you're trying to disinfect and clean wet for five minutes. So that's a really hard thing to do unless you're dowsing your entire station with these cleaners. So what I'll do is uh, I'll basically use one of these wipes and I'll wipe it down multiple times so then that way my, you know, my machine or my uh, anything that's on my station is staying wet for that minimum of a minute. Now, some things get killed in 30 seconds, but other things get killed in a minute. Uh, everything uh, or nothing uh, dies longer than a minute, if that made sense. So you basically have to keep everything wet for a minute. So yeah, that first one I use only on my machines because this Optum One will strip the color off of my machines, but I don't like to use the Opticide Max on everything else because it has a really strong smell. It's a really toxic cleaner. So if you get it you know, on your skin, that's probably not good at all. Uh, this Optum One has the same uh, fast kill times as the Opticide Max, but it is safer to work with. So if you get it on your skin, you don't have to worry about like, you know, getting cancer within the next year. Um, I just don't like to use this one on my machines because uh, it strips the color off and I like my machine's colors. So I basically just go through all of my equipment and I use one wipe per piece of equipment pretty much because you don't want to use one wipe or two wipes for your entire station because you are not then effectively using these cleaners. Now, even though I didn't use those knobs at all during the tattooing process, uh, when I'm you know moving my machine from getting some ink over to tattooing my client, uh, some ink splatters could have gone on there and I don't want to, you know, share ink splatters with multiple clients. Now, I feel like a lot of artists will rush through this cleaning process and 
I understand why, because it is, you know, monotonous after a while. You have to clean everything the same exact way. And I understand that you don't want to, you know, take a lot of time to clean, but this is an incredibly important habit to uh, make sure that you have while you're a tattoo artist, because you don't, you know, you don't want to spread disease or germs. You, I mean, even if your client just gets an infection because something you didn't clean properly, like that's not good. But also we are working with bloodborne pathogens. You can possibly, you know, completely change somebody's life forever if you give them hepatitis or something like that. So this is a really important part that I take very, very seriously. And I make sure that I basically do this exactly the same every single time. So in that way, I don't forget to clean anything. Um, I basically break down my station exactly the same way every single time. And now that I'm done cleaning everything, like all my equipment, I'll start cleaning the things that like right there on the bottom of my my armrest. I put my feet on that during the entire tattoo process to stable it. Uh, so I make sure to clean that off. And then right now I take two wipes and I will wipe the floor all around my tattoo station because, you know, if you've tattooed for any amount of time, you know that there are ink splatters that get on the floor. Uh, today I actually did really good. There's not too many. I know that there are a couple coming up here. Yeah. So we don't want to be, you know, having a dirty floor right there. Got all those ink splatters off. Uh, for one, because, you know, it is hazardous, but also you want to have a clean and presentable station for your clients. You want it to be clean. You want it to be uh, something that they can feel confident uh, that they're getting a really good tattoo and a clean environment. So there's a broken down tattoo station. Have a good day.